Hi, I'd like to invite you out to a church service we're having. Church service? Well I'm not really a religious person. That's okay, because Jesus Christ can change your life. He can turn things around, give you an inner peace, and an assurance of salvation. Well, that sounds kinda, airy-fairy. In a practical sense, tell me what I have to do. Like if I come to your church, tell me step by step, what happens. Okay, well you'll come and pray a prayer. We'll tell you that if you want to stay in the will of God, then you need to be in every single service and event. You'll learn from pastors and other church members that the Potter's House really is the best Christian church, and that other churches, have got it all wrong. Ha, huh, that's what they all say. Please, continue. After about six months, we'll tell you to get rid of your TV and to stop going to movies. We'll then tell you to put an internet filter on your computer, to stop you from watching porn. That's getting a little over the top isn't it? If you get married, your bride will not be permitted to walk down the aisle, because that's just a religious act. We're not religious are we? No. We have a personal relationship with Christ, it's totally different. You'll be forced to hold a wedding reception for church members, before any other reception you have in mind. Oh, and if you permit guests to drink alcohol at your wedding, you cannot invite any church members to come to your private reception. When you come to church, you'll be made to feel guilty every church service, due to constant condemning preaching. And you'll be afraid to leave the church, because of what God might do to you. Or at least that's what the pastor and other church members will make you think. Oh yeah, we will also discourage you from doing further education. So you can forget about college. After all, Jesus is coming back soon. We don't have any time to waste on education. So, do you want to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Go to hell.